Today, we're going to answer the most important question of all time. Who is the strongest fictional character ever? This is so important that I'm delaying my normal intro. Does that make you uncomfortable? Good. Because the answer to this question blew my mind. Is it the Doom Guy? Sonic? Atlas? Superman? None of these. The answer is surprisingly simple. It is one person. The last one you would ever suspect. Steve. Or Alex, the, the the Minecraft person. Crap, I didn't. I'm so awkward without my intro, mother. Hi, it's me, Austin. Welcome to the Thunderdome. Where today we're gonna prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that the strongest person in all of fiction. Period. The end is this person. This knockoff Lego person with the square head. We're gonna prove it with the power of science! Are you ready? I'm ready. So let's get to it. My quest to find the strongest video game character is an old one, and it began with the Doom Guy, cause like, this dude carries a ton of weapons and ammo and keeps up a brisk running speed, but honestly, this guy, all said and done, is kind of peanuts compared to most fictional characters, let alone a person capable of holding multiple realities and universes in the palm of their hands like a god of gods gods of god of gods but i'm getting ahead of myself mario only ever carries about two kilograms of coins at a time the doom guy only carries about 360 which honestly is pretty impressive by human standards but is a drop in the bucket of what's possible in video games. If we're super generous with the weight of rings in Sonic, he's capable of carrying 1,227.6 kilograms at a time, and Spider-Man has a lift strength of 10 tons. All of them are nothing. The Greek Titan Atlas carried the entire world on his shoulders pretty consistently, which weighs over five sep Billion kilograms. Now we're cooking. Superman is about here because he's apparently bench pressed the earth before, but it gets worse or 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 better. Characters like Spectre, Galactus, and Super Tengen Tapa Gurren Lagat Lagat Lagant Lagat. This guy exists on cosmic scales. And while we never see them compete in a deadlift competition, we can be pretty certain that they're strong enough to push entire stars without much issue. You. All, and I mean all of these characters, pale in comparison to my girl Alex and my boy Steve. And we can prove it using the heaviest thing in all of Minecraft. Gold blocks. Gold blocks are the heaviest objects in Minecraft, being a full cubic meter of gold, since each block in Minecraft is a cubic meter, which means each one of these things would weigh 19,300 kilograms, or over 42,000 thousand pounds since the density of gold is 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter. Got it? Good, because it gets way crazier from here. The Minecraft protagonist can carry a lot of these things, and just being able to carry one already makes them stronger than Spider-Man and puts the character on par with the strongest heroes in all of comics and movies. Gold blocks can stack into piles of 64 blocks weighing over 1 million kilograms, and each of these stacks fits into one inventory slot. The protagonist of Minecraft has four rows of nine slots each, plus an extra spot in their hand, which can hold another stack of 64, making the number of stacks of 64 gold blocks total up to 2,368 cubic meters. A stack of gold that is this big and, no joke, is more gold than is currently or ever been in the total total gold reserves for every nation on earth at over 45,000 tons. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Right next to the fountain Woo. CEOs in business suits and private accountants Yeah, summertime parties by the pool <laughs> Yeah 
Fun fact, if you wanted to mine this gold for yourself, it'd take almost 10 days of just mining the ore at average drop rates, plus another two and a half days of smelting. So if you're super efficient and budget a few hours of sleep, followed by a ton of grinding, you can simulate what it's like to be an edutainment video game YouTuber without any of the recognition in just two weeks. Please push the like button and subscribe, I'm very tired. Well, it's very impressive to hold more money than the total world's gold reserves combined in your bare hands, you're probably saying to yourself right now, Hey, wait a minute! You promised that the player character would be the strongest character ever! And if I recall correctly, you said Superman could bench press the Earth! And you would be right. And normally I would have ended the episode right there if it weren't for one tiny trick that I literally stumbled upon by accident trying to make sure that gold blocks were actually the heaviest items in Minecraft and I wasn't overlooking something. Control picking. Thanks to a video by YouTuber San Karn, I learned of a new trick that is not a glitch that allows you to break the heck out of Minecraft. By clicking an item with the center mouse button in creative mode while holding the control button, you can copy an item in all all of its properties into your inventory. Like, uh, I don't know, a box holding 27 stacks of 64 gold blocks. Or a box holding 27 stacks of 64 boxes, each holding 27 stacks of 64 gold blocks. Or maybe a uh, box holding 27 stacks of 64 boxes, holding 27 stacks of 64 boxes, holding 27 stacks of 64 gold blocks. Or maybe- Well, that Austin's gone forever. Thankfully, we have a backup. Hi, it's me, Austin. Now there's some theorizing that golden enchanted apples may be heavier than gold blocks, but in recent patches of the game, there's no legitimate way to make them yourself, so the gold block remains the heaviest object in the game. Anyway, San Karn figured out this method, so credit where credit is due, and it's here that things get absolutely freaking out of control! Now, it might seem that because of this method that there's an infinite number of gold blocks you can carry, but that's actually not the case. There's an actual limit programmed into the game for how many properties an item can have, and that limit is what's known as the named binary tag depth limit. For both TAG list and TAG compound, the limit is 512 bits, but chests take up 3 bits of this information, meaning that our actual limit is about 171. That's 171 nested layers of boxes with boxes with boxes with boxes with boxes with boxes. Wow, with seriously? Boxes this episode has an Austin kill count of 2? Good thing I have some number of backup Austins ready. Now, compared to the weight of the gold inside them, the weight of the boxes is negligible, so let's just focus on the gold. How much weight can our Minecraft person actually carry? The formula for the max capacity of one box is deceptively simple, but it will break most calculators. 64 times 27 to the 171st power. BAM! Fun fact, the second, at your seventh layer, as you're placing ultra-dense boxes inside each other, this box would exceed the mass needed for the Schwarzschild radius of one meter, meaning it would collapse in on itself into the form of a black hole, and we've got so many more to go! At layer 20, you can contain more mass than exists in the entire universe! The galaxies in Orion's belt suck on this, men in black! We can carry the entire universe in a tiny wooden box! This goes on and on and on until we get to a total number of gold blocks at our final layer in our final boxes of 4.16844003258399368461758013179012563513507790929 times 10 to the 553rd power which would weigh 8.04519419416288711327891073119269673354942475810680582136 times 10 to the 557th power kilograms but we are not done because that is just one box at max capacity
capacity. These boxes can stack into a stack of 64. 2.6678 times 10 to the 555th gold blocks. But we're not done yet. Because look at all these inventory slots. 27 plus 9 plus 1 stack in the offhand equals 37 stacks of 64 boxes. Giving us a final number of gold blocks Stevix can carry of 9.8709947399715889 7104517409770391750399827947409090 times 10 to the 566 power clocking in at 1.91 times 10 to the 561st power kilograms or over 6.35 times 10 to the 505th power universes all of these being carried like it's absolutely nothing by this little person and if you switch from creative to survival the number sticks no problem no encumbrance stevix our little stevix is a god masquerading as a normal person this is the individual capable of holding the infinite cosmos, every possible alternate quantum state and reality, every Schrodinger's cat ever conceived of, every save game, every alternate history, in the palm of their hand like it's nothing! And they choose to make this, or this, or this, or this, or this, or just be a humble farmer. Stevix is truly the strongest, most powerful being in all of existence, and instead of ruling over existence like an evil warlord, they choose to do well, whatever they want. And I think there's a beautiful lesson there. Ultimately, what matters most in the world when you have all the options available to you is a peaceful, idyllic life, doing whatever you want, like a hobbit. A hobbit that also has to fight dragons and sometimes dumps lava into houses for no apparent reason. Okay, never mind. Don't use Steve or Alex's guides for your own life. Just fear them and praise, well, praise them that they haven't decided to erase our tiny box from existence just because they're both. Lord. Sincerely, Austin.